funniest pets and people. A dog who's an underwater explorer. Some kids who are on thin ice. A woman plays a head-scratching sonata. A driver puts his SUV's mud flaps to the test. A dog who likes his stick, shift. And never fear, Aqua Dog is here. It's the show that will have you sick. Stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. These may not be the best of times, but they're definitely the funniest. Everyone can see that there's something very wrong about this clip. That's right, Barky is not wearing his seatbelt. This little guy sure is having a good time being a guinea pig. But he thinks he'd be having a great time if he were a turtle. <laughs> He's finally come out of his shell. About wanting to get inside a shell. In winter, Wally can't swim in the pool, so he has to practice his dog paddle indoors. <laughs> After a tough day at work, Hubby is enjoying an electric back massage. But Fifi's had a tough day too, so she wants in on the good vibrations. With his wheel in the repair shop, this hamster still wanted to go for a spin. So he did it the old fashioned way. Whoa, that's some serious air, bro. One of these stuffed animals isn't stuffed at all. Can you spot the real animal? <laughs> if you said this kitty, you're right. <laughs> Though he did just eat a big meal, he isn't actually stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> This little piggy didn't go to market. But he will paint your portrait for the low, low price of a bucket of slop. <laughs> Why, he's a regular pig casso. <laughs> the cat offered to share his corn on the cob with the ferret. But Kitty soon learned that eating corn on the cob is a one ferret job. <laughs> and now, Rex's unfinished symphony. What a good dog! What a good dog! No, he's being smart. He's getting the angle. Yeah, Nick, he gets up here when he's wet. Nothing can pull him out. That's OK. This guy's trying out his brand new 4x4. Punch it! Yeah. Come on. Punch it! Oh, shit! <laughs> and now it's more like a zero by zero. You see, the trick to going off roading is to be able to get back on the road. Now it's time for some soft shoe and loud voices. 
This little Halloween witch wants a treat. I'm rolling. But her owner's gonna make her do a trick first. You gotta admit, this witch's dance is kinda spellbinding. Nothing is gonna hold Bongo back from being the best doggy drummer in history. Well, maybe except for the fact that he can't hold drumsticks. Minor inconvenience. A wedding is a tradition where two families become one. In some countries, they take this idea literally. <laughs> now this is an amazing trick. <laughs> Truly, what she is doing is elegant and impressive. And the woman playing the piano underneath her is pretty good, too. <laughs> this dancer's really got some fancy footwork. Unfortunately, some of the people in his audience are gonna get to see it way up close and personal. Brownie has finally found a way to catch her tail. But the question is, now that Brownie has caught her tail, yeah, what's she gonna do with it? A year ago, the young couple fell for each other. Today, they're getting married. And they're falling for each other all over again. Coming up, a dog gets a different angle on things. And a kid who can stand on his own two skates. Sort of. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Here's some instant funny. Just add water. Before Miss Flappy enjoyed a tasty beverage, she wanted to clean up. Hey, look, it's a place to wash right over there. Hmm. Well, now that drink is gonna taste like feathers. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, one bird in the tub. You know, there's a new expression all the kids are saying. Lizard see, lizard do. Lizard sees how the snorkelers are swimming and he's aping them. I mean, lizarding them. what you think is amazing. A dog diving underwater to fetch a rock. <laughs> what the dog thinks is amazing. This is the biggest toilet bowl ever. Some canines like to dog pet. Ah, uh, but not Frank here. You see, when Frank heads across the lake, he does it in style. You 
Yep, he's a regular sea dog. Icecapades is a dazzling show filled with professional ice skaters dancing in a stylish and graceful manner. This is not the Ice Capades. One of these young hockey players could be the next NHL superstar. But first they have to learn the fundamentals. You know, like puck control, stick handling, and uh, standing up. Mostly standing up. It was a hot summer day, and Larry was looking for a way to keep cool. Perhaps a dip in the pool, he thought. Or a cool drink. Or how about both? This man is opening a bottle of champagne to celebrate. He's celebrating the 50th bottle of champagne he's opened without spilling a single drop. <laughs> and the streak begins anew. Get ready for some four-legged fun. This German Shepherd is trying to figure out which is his best side. Is it the left side or the right side? The left or the right? <laughs> left, yeah. right. No wonder he looks so perplexed. Well, sure. If the dog were really wrestling the kitty, he'd win paws down. But it's refreshing to see a dog who's able to express his feline side, isn't it? <laughs> Scamp is eating every bubble hoping that with each one, there'll be something delicious inside. You just keep on dreaming, scamp. Yes. This little doggy loves to lift up both legs whenever he passes by a tree. If he lifted just one leg, yes. well, there'd be really no reason to show you this clip. <laughs> this little dog wants to be the big dog. But the big dog just isn't done being the big dog yet. Most people remember to give their dog water, but this man's making sure to give the dog plenty of air, too. How do you know when you're done inflating your dog? Well, it's easy. The tail is fully extended. They say, let a smile be your umbrella. If that's true, then this dog will never be touched by a single raindrop. Smile! <laughs> it was at this moment that Daphne learned that playing fetch the ball is a lot easier when the ball is attached to a pole. 
I mean, when this ball is fetched, it pretty much stays fetched. <laughs> Coming up, a squirrel cleans more than just his plate. And a raccoon who's a little bit trashy. When we return to the funniest pets and people. Welcome back to the funniest pets and people. Open wide, it's time for some snacks. This squirrel is just tired of acorns. So he's trying to get into this coffee can so he can have a cup of joe. But inside the can, acorns. Ah, nuts. This squirrel has found an unusual way to get fiber in his diet. <laughs> you know, it really is inspiring to see a dog and a cat decide to break bread instead of breaking bones. Here's a machine that's gonna give Shotzi her independence once and for all. Whenever she wants a treat, all she has to do is get one from the machine. The only catch is, he's gonna refill the machine. This little raccoon is dying at a new restaurant that just opened up in the park. It's called Chez Galbage. Yeah, the menu is limited, but hey, you never need reservations. <laughs> Shadow is a talking dog. And as soon as he's finished eating some peanut butter, he's gonna recite the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> Just as soon as he's done with that peanut butter. You know, he even does it with the Lincoln accent. It's kind of cool. Yeah, any minute now, he should be uh, ready to do that. Uh. Anyone got some milk for Shadow? Yeah, this sort of behavior kind of explains why dinner parties were not very well attended at the Lucas household. For years, people thought that cats and babies didn't like each other. But this kitty loves babies. They always provide him with a free lunch. <laughs> Trying to eat an apple can be pretty hard work. And all that hard work can make you build up a powerful hunger which makes you want to eat an apple, which is hard work. <laughs> These next folks know how to keep it moving. When you tell Mittens to shake a leg, she'll do you one better. She'll shake all of them. You know, soccer is about the perfect sport for horses. Because they never, ever touch the ball with their hands. A lot of people think a dog digging holes is an instinct. This footage proves that, in fact, not an instinct at all. They just practice a lot. Sometimes you don't need a happy occasion to pop the cork on a bottle of champagne. 
Sometimes the cork pops itself. I was hitting the head. Peter is playing the bunny ball game. The key to bunny ball is keeping your eye on the ball. And that sure isn't a problem for Peter, considering all the carrots he's eaten. See, because it's eye food. Before there was a dance move known as the running man, there was a less popular dance move called the uh, falling woman. Yes, this lady is the world champion. See how easy that was for her? Coming up, a duo that'll have you howling for more. When you return, the funniest pets and people. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Our final act of the night is the musical act of Paul and Sharky. They're like Simon and Garfunkel if Simon played a squeaky horn and Garfunkel was a Doberman Pinscher. You know, come to think of it, they're more like Hall and Oates. See you next time. <laughs>